Uh, dude, I totally own that level. Yeah. What? You okay? We had four glow sticks and four flares, and somehow we have now like one and a half glow sticks and two flares. What? Well, do you want me to go back and get the? I could have gone back and gotten the rest, more flares, but you didn't. It's boring. You kept you kept fucking yelling at me. You didn't believe. Dude, I feel kind of embarrassed for being scared in the in the like early levels of this game. Oh shit. So, oh shit. Oh god. Are we dying? Dude, I don't fucking know how to get out of here. Don't you, dude. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh my god. How the fuck do I get out of here? Stop freaking the fuck out. Dude, I don't know how to fucking get out of here. Well, stop running against a wall. Whoa, where the fuck am I gonna run? There are walls everywhere. Oh. There's literally no way out. What are we dying from? There's no way out. There's literally you no way out. Wow. My whole level didn't die. You died in a level. Okay, I'm gonna jump down there. I want you to figure out how to get out of there. That's stupid. Christ, it takes forever to load. We are not gonna fall in that hole again. Okay, yeah, buddy. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna, I decided to walk. Okay, grab it again. Maybe it'll be interesting this time. <gasps> nope. Still not. All right, I'm gonna go that way now. Whoa! You know, I, I'm sorry for giving you shit, Dakota. That's that bullshit. This. I'm just gonna take it. One, two, my shadow. So dynamic. <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, just be real slow or be real fast. Maybe be real fast. I don't know. I don't know which one's falling. Wait, wait. What's going on right now? Right, that's where I fell. Just be careful. Shh. Some objects can be climbed. Do you know that? I think it's this one. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put on a glow stick. Okay, but we only got a couple left. Yeah. I was. Dude, dead. I own that level. Yeah, but you still somehow managed to use one and a half, two and a half glow sticks. I apologize for that part, but that was, you were like, I'm beating the system, but then you used, like, everything, uh, Brian, as ordered, the team has returned to work and begun removing the remains. While we'd originally assumed there was only a single body, we've now discovered more, 12 to be exact. Did I say there'd be 12? While they, you said on the tree, while they weren't buried in any real orderly fashion, we did notice that someone had taken care to place the corpses face down in their coffins. I've had the bodies moved to a secure location where we can prevent any wandering eyes from finding them. But things will progress a bit slower because we've had to admit some of my crew to the hospital with some sort of fever. The doc says it's caused by a fungus, but I'm telling you these bodies are clear and strangely preserved. Especially for how long they've been sitting here. Judging by their clothes and the Bible one of them was buried with, the inscription said, For Mary, may God have mercy upon you. 1666. Joke. Dude, dude, uh, they bury people face down their coffins when they're like vampires and shit. Or werewolves, or witches, yeah, yeah. They do? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I think the idea is that they'll get confused and start digging downwards. In Victorian think. London, they had steel cages over graves that people that they suspected were vampires. That's cool. So I think we're dealing with like vampire witches or something like that. Shh. Fuck! You can never tell which one's falling. Fine. Ugh. They should really do something so that the, the so that, I don't know, just, to get less of the boring ass notes. Also less repeats. Yeah, I think it only repeated when we died and reset. Remember? No, I'm pretty sure there was some repeats in between levels. Okay, they want us to go this way. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, 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 no. Which way do I run? I don't know. That way. No. Oh, oh. Take me, Jesus. Stop. stop, stop! Look to your left. No, no, behind you. No, like to your right. Yeah, that thing. Hallelujah, yo. Dude, it's a spooky ghost castle. Get ready. Let's go. Dude, I'm taking my sweet ass time. Dude, there's a light. Do you see that light? Yeah, I can, I can Dude, clearly see light. the light. No, right there, right there. Oh, yeah, shit, you're right. There's like a blue Dude, I want glowing this. light. Oh, shit. 
I want it. Shit. Fuck. So what building? Are, what type of building are we in now? We've been in like a prisons and sewers and like asylums and shit. It's this, true. Is this our home? Dude, we're what? going up. Dude, are we gonna go to the light? Dude, I'm like, I just gotta ruin that feeling. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm assuming this is Dr. Mercer. Yeah, that's the only other character we've been introduced to, so I guess that'd be a safe assumption. Dude, it's wow, dark. Wow, the dark. <laughs> Dude, I wish I was ready. I could see in the dark. <laughs> Can I open this door? Can I open no, this I think door? No, I think we're on the rails now, buddy. Oh, my God. Have you, do you understand it at all what's been going on this entire game? Oh, do you? Meaning, okay, I know that the number 13 is and important, and 12... Dude, no, no, there are 12, but there's one more. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Alright, what the fuck do I go? Dude, uh, just like the 13th ghost? With Tony Shalhoub? Dude, she's Tony Shalhoub. Alright, what the fuck do I go? Wait, I think go back and see what... Cause, oh, because... Oh, damn. Wait, what? look at the map. Dude, I'm not zooming in for shit. What? You can go left somewhere? Like, into mm -hmm. that door? That, can you get that one? Nope. No. Our telekinesis is failing us. Maybe uh, there's something in this. It's gotta be one of these doors. Right? Maybe it's not supposed to go up. Was there any other way? No, I don't think so. Shit. Are we in a danger zone yet? No, right? I don't want to run because, like... I just don't want... Right, let's see what we got here. Uh, there's a lot of shit, though. Yeah. But maybe it's not on the same level as us. Maybe it's below us. No, it's always the same level on the map, I've noticed. Uh -huh. Oh! Whoa, how did we miss that door? Because it's... Man, this is a creepy-ass place. Dude, this is like a new kind of darkness. Dude, I do not want... I do fuck. This is... Use a flare. No, wait, that, that's our last glow stick. Shh, oh, God. Oh. Dude, weren't we here already? I don't know, man. Yeah, we were I mean, already. They, they all look kind of the same to me. No, look, it's the, it's the desk... Dude, watch. Are we, gonna, oh, are we back in the hospital? Dude, look, there's going to be a radiator right here. Shit. You're right. Fuck, there's a door here. So we're we'll going in circles now? Wow, look at that dark. Dude, I don't, I don't want to... Just do get a flare out. Dude, I only have two. So? so right. Shit. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I have to. That's Dude, it made it worse. Oh, my God. Too spooky for me. Oh, we are the 13th. I fear patient 13, born on the premise July 7th, 1987, has a rough future ahead of her. After her mother died giving birth, complications with rapid blood loss and a concoction of narcotics present in her system. We've tried everything we can think, everything we can think of to find her a foster family. She's the sweetest baby manageable and most of the nurses gave her extra attention. Shortly after she arrived, we did a search for any family in the area, but our investigation led us in a curious direction. The name Gwyn? Yeah. Uh, apparently has a long and checkered history here. The oldest accounts go back to the legend of the 13 witches Told who were supposedly killed right here on Mid-Island. The surviving Gwyns were apparently run out of town thereafter. I doubt there's a connection, but some of the more superstitious staff can't help but marvel at the coincidence of the number 13. While 13 doesn't suffer from fetal alcohol syndrome, she does suffer from periodic blackouts. Some of the doctors on site believe it could be narcolepsy, but I'm not convinced due to other issues. 13 sometimes stares off into space for hours at a time. She never cries for food. She vacillates between being exuberant to cat catatonic. How, oh God, how will we ever find her a home? Her first foster family brought her back, citing odd behavior and objects in her room, mysteriously relocating overnight. Some of the nurses say her mother cast a curse on her, but I believe she was just speaking nonsense before her death. There's no doubt that 13 is special. I wish I could take her myself as you prepare to shut down. I will confess that I will miss you, Sarah Gwynn. Hey, what's there? May God help you grow into the lady we all know you can be and not the product of your legacy. Okay, so here's my guess, right? There's only...
Oh god. Ah, my eyes! Okay, so there's 13 witches, but only 12 got hung, right? There's only 12 bodies and 12 coffins. What are you doing? I just don't. I don't do. Dakota, that. where was the brave? Very Dude, long hallways. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm on edge right now, man. I don't do long hallways. Dude, where's the brave? Virile. I don't do long hallways. Why does this keep happening when I keep? Let me finish game. Where's the brave? Virile Smee, I know. Oh god, demons! Isolation and enslavement. Alright, let's see. Let's see what's here. Uh, Master's office reception. No, Mercer's office. Oh, way. never mind. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Alright, you know what? I got this. So I'm not up or shut up. Seriously, what the fuck is that? It's the, that's the symbol of the, on the doors, right? Dude. Hey, look! There's the there's St. Nicholas! Patron saint of headless people. Oh my god! To go! Oh Whoa. my god! Oh my god! Will you stop freaking the fuck out? Dude, there's so many of them. Oh god, dude, I need to book it. Oh, dude, I'm trying to book it. It's not letting me run. Pull a flare out or something. I can't. Oh, no. I gotta run to the door. Oh, Michael, I can see keep, it. Keep going. I can see the light. Keep going for the it's, light, it's buddy. It's beckoning me. Yes. I can barely yes. see. It. Yes. Yes. There there's hope. Did we lose? There was hope. Can you win? There was hope. Oh man. For like a second. Those loading screens are ridiculously book long. It, book it, book it, book it. Let's go. Infection, sickness, disease, okay. Despair, uh, corruption, and persecution. Okay. Chaos, enslavement, and isolation. And isolation. Abandonment, exposure, exposure, disaster. Change. Okay, what do we do now? Alright. Well, can you run anymore? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I can still run. Okay. So here's the plan. You ready for the plan? Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna take down this hallway like a bat out of hell. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a right. Uh -huh. Then I'm gonna make another right, then I'm gonna make a hard left. And then right before I get the door, I'm gonna turn around and flip them off. Okay, I, don't, I think the last part. Let's do it! Uh, 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 uh. I'm not afraid of your ass. Cracker? Wait, why weren't you running pre earlier? I was running! I'm so gone, bitches! Oh no, I was gonna flip them off! Uh, oh. Historian? Awakening! Dude, we woke. That's 13. <laughs> what? She was the ghost? Spooky. What? Wait, what? Spooky. That wasn't spooky. Too spooky for me. I just, I, I didn't follow the story. I was just doing, I was just doing this for the game. Dude, that was a pretty weak story from what I gathered. You're a weak story. Jessica Chobot should, should, should rethink. I think it's Chobo. Chob no, I don't think. But she's definitely gonna be silent. Fine, Chobo. De that's Jessica Chobo. Chobo. Ch Chobo. That's a. Anyway. Why is why did Chobots. this why did this game get under your skin Dude, so much, buddy? I don't know. It's just the ambiance. If the ambiance is right, and Dude, the we've we've of... played more atmospheric games than this. Dude, Slender Doe. Slender gets me all the time too. Dude, why am I the one not scared of this game? Dude, uh, Outlast going to get... Because Steve gives you power. Outlast is going to break my dick, too, though. Okay. <laughs> well, I've actually seen Outlast, and that one's actually pretty... can, can be pretty tense. Okay, so... We're so, going to do the breakdown now. Okay, yeah, we're going to talk um, about how we, what we thought of the game. Uh, okay, so... You want to go first, buddy? Okay. I thought... I liked it. Uh, personally, my, my opinion is I liked it. I thought it was a good play. I thought if you... I think if you like games that kind of like... 
Well, not you so much, but put you on edge. Like, give you that feeling of, oh my god, I'm gonna die like a bitch. This, is one, this might be one. Um, the story is definitely weak. You don't play this game for the story. Um, it has some good moments. Uh, it got me a couple times. But uh, overall, I think I'd give it mm, maybe three and a half or five. Okay. What do you think? Um, I think that although it's got a couple good scares in it, ultimately it's kind of boring and repetitive. The environments aren't pretty particularly memorable, but I think that's because it's procedure generated. Uh, and like there's a lot of easy tricks you can do to get past all the frights. Uh, I, was, I thought the forest was pretty cool. Uh, the forest was neat, except it kind of they kind of broke their own game when they gave you infinite flares. That's pretty sure. cool. Uh, um, and so yeah, also pretty short, I guess. But I, I, you can't expect that was procedurally generated. Um, but yeah, a couple good scares. I'll give it like two and a half if you out of five okay. ultimately. What about you, Imani? Uh, I still haven't finished it, so I'm probably not going to. <laughs> already seen it. Uh, what I've played, it was pretty good. I, what I saw, still pretty good. <laughs> so I'd, I'd give it three out of five ghosts. That oh, ghosts, yeah. dude. Ooh. That that that, Steve's that that Steve's prison actually. that prison level will fuck me up. Dude, that prison levels. Also, that's why I hate is when you die, you have to redo the whole thing, and yeah, you you have to go you have to go find your fucking all the remnants all over again. That get that gets boring after doing it over and over again. Okay, uh, yeah. so that was so, a good playthrough. That was uh, daylight with Smee and Bedlam with commentary by Imani sometimes. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, forget Steve. and okay, fine, Steve too. Do they even know about Steve? No. Don't, a don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos, and be prepared for our next line of videos that'll be launching st soon, sometime soon. after this one. Probably actually, like probably the week after this one. Exact that week, yeah, exactly. Bye. Don't end it on that note. Bye.